rational. No, I have to get rid of everything. Oh we my don't gosh, need you're becoming a minimalist mad woman. Alright, stop. Joe, give me that chain. No, I need this. I am need happy it to with be my chain. Happy. We don't need it to be happy. Jesus. Listen, I need you. Die is losing her mind. She's trying to get rid of What's everything. Unbelievable. Oh my Less is more. <laughs> hey, okay. Oh, welcome everyone to episode 35 of Diaries of the Drunken Dumbbells with Di, my sidekick, Gia. Over the holidays, I was fortunate enough to travel to Cuba, a country that I knew very little about. Right, a country that we've all been taught that communism is bad. And that Cubans are poor and malnourished. Or they don't have access to American production or consumerism. And that's really sad. Gratefully, it was a real eye-opener to be immersed in their society and in their culture, which reinforced some valuable lessons for you, right? Yeah. Yes, thank you for reading my mind, Rick. <laughs> but something that really struck, stuck with me was that while they are very poor in material wealth, they're also impressively rich in happiness. How can that be? Yeah, didn't you say their houses are like falling apart and they don't have smartphones? I don't know what I'd do without my girl. Well, it is true. I mean, their lives were a lot simpler when it came to material wealth and technology. But I asked myself, there must be something to finding a more authentic happiness to simplicity. Hmm. Well, this is a country that has all their basic needs met for them, right? Right. So homes, healthcare, education, food, and water is all taken care of by the government. So no one's left homeless. Or without proper provisions. Right. And contrast that with the societal pressures that thriving nations impose on us from a very early age. You know, like get a good age education so you can get a good job, so you can buy a fancy car. And don't forget about your giant house. So you can provide for your family. Gotta get the best shoes. Or your Louis Vuitton bag. Don't forget about the iPhone 7. Oh my god, because you're gonna be left homeless. Oh, uh, what about if you. Alright! <laughs> We're taught from a very early age that we need to worry about acquiring things. Right, and this worry programming instills fear, which can be destructive to long term health and happiness for many people. And even societies as a whole. Whereas other poorer cultures have been taught from early on to be grateful for what you already have. Now, I'm not saying that I think any less of our own constructs, but, you know, I'm grateful that I get to open my own business and travel and do things that other cultures aren't able to. But I do think it's important to recognize that acquiring things is not what always leads us to happiness, and it's important to contemplate all the other things that make our life purposeful, fulfilling, and pleasurable. Like friendships. Family. Love! Your job! Visiting museums! Music! Traveling! Writing! People watching! Or Stargazing! Just, most of these things cost little to nothing. Yeah, we don't need to damage our bank accounts to enjoy intimate friendships. Or uncontrollable laughter. Hi, yes, five minutes of uncontrollable laughter, please. Your time starts now. <laughs> Free to be passionate about something or be dedicated to a cause or to just have some free time with yourself. As the humorist Art Buckwald put it, the best things in life aren't things. We should aim to enlarge the free and simple areas on the maps of our lives. And this, my friends, is how we find the luxury that constitutes our wealth and happiness. Thanks again, everyone, for tuning in to episode 35 of Diaries of the Drunken Dumbbells with Dai, Gio, and oh, oh, by the way, how much does it cost to follow us on Facebook and Snapchat? Zero. It's a free alarm. In Cuba, they say, don't be such a barato. You like my salsa, da? <laughs>